He made a change in December. He put in Cam Reddish and Vando and Jovan Buha and all these uh, uh, beat reporters for the Lakers. They said on the internet and they said on stream and they cried about it. The Lakers have the Lakers with him with this new starting lineup with Bron, uh, AD, Torian Prince, Vando, and Cam Reddish. That is the worst. In that is the worst offensive uh, lineup, worse than the Wizards, thirtieth ranked. And, and, and it's a small sample size. But it's been pretty bad. The, the dude that you already got on one channel, they say the, the player is trash on his one channel. Mm -hmm. He's talking about you right now. The locker room. Go ahead, locker room. Okay. Niggas are sitting here talking about a, a stretch in December when Darwin didn't put in Reeves and D'Lo. Man, fuck, fuck them niggas. At the end of the day, he did, did didn't he have them bum bum ass niggas in it in, in the first round uh during against Denver? Yes. What was the result? We still got gentlemen swept. So I don't want to hear about no stretch in December when he benched sorry as D Lo and Austin Reeves. The reality of the situation is this Darvin's scam was going to be screwed no matter what he did. If he would have kept the same lineup as he did last season, which was D Lo, Rui, Reeves, guess what? He, he used that same starting lineup against Denver again this year, and we still got beat. He made a change in December. He put in Cam Reddish and Vando and Jovan Buha and all these uh, uh, beat reporters for the Lakers. They said on the internet, and they said on stream, and they cried about it. So that's why he went back to D'Lo and Reeves in the starting lineup. We were also losing games. We were losing. Low, low, low. We were Shut losing. fuck up. Were we losing? Because guess what? Were we losing? Because guess what, Low? Were we losing? Low, yes or no? Low, low. Shut the fuck up. This is a good question, Riz. That's a good question. It's a good question. Were, were yeah. we losing? Let, yes let me or no? explain. Let me explain. Let me finish. Let me finish this. Low. Were we losing? All you got to do is Low, low. Listen for a second. If if we make a starting lineup change in fucking December with no training camp, with no practice, Low, obviously that new core is going to go through growing pains, right? We made a coach. We made a starting yes five. Yes or teams. no? Are they gonna? I'm, Look, I'm not. I'm not, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna answer. I'm not gonna answer the same way you didn't want to answer me, my brother. I'm not gonna answer the same way you want to answer me. We made a coach. We made a starting five change in November. He took Reeves out of the lineup in November. Yeah. Lamont, November. Can I, can I finish? Can I finish? November. Nigga. Nigga. Who ahead, cares? Just Fuck be, Reeves. Right, just Who right, cares? Right. What has Reeves done? Austin Reeves and D'Angelo Russell were the two worst defenders on the Los Angeles Lakers. So when everybody's asking why did Darvin Scam bench him in December, why did he bench both of them? Because they were the two worst defenders on the team. That's why. Fact. So like I said, is Darvin Ham a good coach? No. But did he have? Was he in the right headspace when he benched D'Lo and Reeves in December? Absolutely, and he should have stuck with that. So, but who, okay, like give me right, the two the two things before I even bounce. If you saying that D'Lo, I mean, um, Reeves should have came off the bench, which I'm fine with. In all honesty, I thought he was gonna do it anyway if Gabe was healthy, but he got hurt. If since now Gabe is hurt, who was going to then come off the? Who's gonna be in Max Christie? Okay, and you know what? I I a I disagree, but I also think that's another thing Darvin Ham failed at as well, where he should have gave more minutes to Christie and Hayes throughout the regular season to properly Stop prepare them. The only the only the only thing I asked, and the, and I answered your question. Can you just answer mine? When they put Cam and Prince and Vando in the starting lineup. Were we winning or losing? I mean, none of the, none and, of the and, low, and, and, and low. no, 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 no. And this is my life. This is my, this is my life. I answered your question. I just need you to answer mine. If when they when we went a more defensive leaning lineup, were we winning or losing? Four and when we went back to the lineup of Dilo Reason Rui in the starting lineup, what did we look like from a team? Perspective? Low. If you if you completely change the starting lineup in December in the middle of the season, obviously. That lineup is going to go through growing pains. You're not going to change the starting lineup and just win 10, 20 straight games in a row. Duh. So once again, when they went back to the lineup that you were you were wanting, which was D'Lo and Reeves, what was the result in the playoffs? The same as last year. We still lost. He should have been gonna, stuck with the lineup but, but, in December. But, 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 but Rick, you, 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 you realize you, you wasn't going to change anyway. I'm about to say, do you, do you think do you think the players on this team are going to win anyway? 
Do you think yeah, we would have had a better yeah, shot with yeah, the lineup? I'll, 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 ask you, I'll ask you the question again because you, you ducked these questions. Do you think we were going to win anyway? Nigga, I just answered your question. Stop, no. ca stop capping, Low. I just no, you didn't. It's just a yes or no question. Low, we would have had a better chance. With... You know, ever want to answer your, my question? Your kitch, your kitch right. out are you going to cut me off? You're not answering the question. Are you going to let? Are you going to cut me off? You are not answering the questions. Low, we would have had a better chance with six feet eight Cam Reddish over Austin fucking Reeves. Against Denver, Damn, yes. He's hurt, though. He's hurt. Hey, Lamont, he's not, he I got a big like, hand. We would have had a better chance with Max Christie than Austin Reed. No, hold on. Yes. No, hold on. No, I, I, look, hey, what Lamont, I'm let me say this. something to you real quick, and, Lamont. And, I'm a, yeah, I'm a, I got you, Wiley. My thing is, now, so so what happens, I think this is where Reg, another t where, issue where you get in trouble with your take is, you, you tell us how much better Denver's roster is than the Lakers. They're superior on the bench. They're superior with starters. The Lakers are just completely depleted, and then you then you come up with all these scenarios where oh we would have had a better chance to win if if he would have switched this up and it's basically the way it sounds the way you feel about this roster no matter what Darvinham would have done they still would have lost to Denver the way it sounds because you feel like Denver outclasses yeah. the Lakers in any particular fashion. Yes, sir. What yeah. I'm saying is is no. we would have had a better we would have had a more competitive series how we would have switched things up instead of doing the exact on, same how, thing with but how much more hold on how season. much more hold on how much more competitive can you be when you have to lead double digit leads in every single game <laughs> well, my, that doesn't mean shit that doesn't mean nothing. Oh, that doesn't mean <laughs> you had a 20 point lead and loss what? you lost the game when D'Lo hit seven threes you literally lost the game no matter no D'Lo gave you seven threes you lose minute game <laughs> Having a lead in the first half in today's NBA. No, hold on. Nothing. Now, Rich. Now, Rich. Now, I'm gonna ask you this too. So, because I want to see, I want to, I want you to challenge to this. The Lakers control the game, or the the team. Let's just put it on the team. The team stayed competitive with the Nuggets for three quarters most of the time. If they didn't have the lead going into the fourth or in the third, they generally had a, 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 a angle or possibility to win the game in the fourth. Um, whose job is it to win games in the fourth quarter for the Lakers? The players. It's the players' job. Okay. More specifically, whose job is it to close game for the Lakers? Oh, LeBron it, it, it and AD. Depends. It depends. It's not just it on depends. anyone. No, 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 it don't. It, it depends. The GOAT supposed to come <laughs> through. Nigga, you heard me, nigga. Get that rebound, man. You it heard what I said? The GOAT is supposed to come through. Oh, Red, who's the GOAT? Hey, Lamont, it's Austin Reed's fault. That's what he's saying. Hey, Lamont. Hey, Lamont. Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this, Lamont. Red, who's supposed to close game for the Lakers, man? Lamont, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Who LeBron closed? Game, who, hold on, hold on. Who closed Game Four against Golden State last year? Oh man, I don't remember. I'm talking about this year. Exactly. You don't even remember. It was Lonnie Walker. Okay, one game. Exactly. Okay. So who? who, who, who did, didn't Austin Reed? Wasn't what, what what, 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 so, so Lonnie, Lonnie, Lonnie Walker? Out of body experience, like Lonnie Walker, to win a game. Hold on, hold on, low. Hold on, low. Hold on, low. Hey, hey Lamont, didn't 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 Austin Reed close game one out against Memphis last year? <sighs> okay. Wasn't that so, wasn't that the I'm him so, game? So hold on. So let me. Yes, you're right. And Reg. So again. Wouldn't that be your number one problem if you have a whole bunch of the role players closing the games and not Instead LeBron and AD? So, so Lamont, so, so, so did Michael Porter Jr. not hit any big shots in that fourth quarter? No, but you know who closed those games? Who closed the games? Who closed the games? It was Jamal always Murray, Murray and Yoke. Two of them, but the other, the other two, Murray the and Yoke came through. It was Murray and Yoke. It was <laughs> Murray and games, bro. Come on, stop. Hey, Lamont. Hey, yeah, Lamont. You just, you can't, you can't just can't no, 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 level only, only reason why I came back up here, Lamont. Yeah, yeah. Lock Lockerman was arguing earlier about mm -hmm. how he should have gave more time to the the like the wing lineup, right? If I'm not mistaken. Right. <laughs> that they should have gave more moments and time to the defensive warrior lineup, and they should have went bigger. Correct. Yeah. I could have sworn I was arguing against him saying that earlier in the year, yeah. and I I was right. If you go to the video that you have with a live where it says Lakers oh. goals revealed. Hold on, you got the timestamp for me? Go to 120. I got the whole thing right now put up for you. Cut out you the play, play it through your mic. Play it through your mic. No, play it. Hold on, hold on. I'm, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, uh, this is my non. Uh, hold on, hold on. Let me do it. I'll pull it up. Uh, yeah, share the screen. Share the screen. Share the screen. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> low crazy. Hey, hold on. But, the, but the, you know, yeah, low, low, I was going to. You got to just. Low, check this out. Low, rooms. I was going to say something about that because it seemed like for the first three months of the season, Reg or the locker room was basically saying, um, 
he didn't care about the defense. He wanted the offense well, to be offense. better. Yes, that's and what... then and then when the offense got better, he reversed course. Yeah, he was talking about how bad the defense was, even Bro. though even though D'Lo and everybody were shooting forty percent from three. Now everybody making he talking about trading. I don't. I, Bro, I, I swear I, I when, we, when, we, when we were having this conversation, I was like, Bro, D'Lo and Reeves finished the season off basically shooting forty percent from three. Up, I gotta hear this. I gotta hear this. And what? I could have sworn we was having this conversation. This shit's gonna be fun as a hold on, y'all. Make sure y'all mute up so we can hear this, man. On the 50-50 plays and what he does defensively. In conjunction with uh, a A D. But but then, but then, no, yeah. we're not we're not nobody's discrediting what he brings to the team. The issue is is that he can't be in the starting lineup. The Lakers have the Lakers with him with this new starting lineup with Bron, uh A D, Torian Prince, Vando, and Cam Reddish. That is the worst in that is the worst offensive uh lineup, worse than the Wizards, 30th ranked. And, and, and it's a small sample size, but it's been pretty bad. It's like they're playing. All right, so that's that's part of it. Mind what? You, <laughs> my mind you, he's willing to make this. He was willing to make that assessment off of a small sample size. So then it continues. Uh, and to be fair, to be fair to him, his his solution was to add Christian Wood in the lineup, but he okay. wanted more offense in the lineup. Okay. Which is I, I respected that, but he's only he's trying to work with. A broken roster that he has. If we're but, talking but Lamont, about what, what you got to understand, though, bro, is that bro, just because he made a change doesn't mean that that was the best change. This is him talking. Sorry, I'm skipping, but that's him talking about the all wing lineup that it's not the best change. Earlier, he said it was fine to go all defense, but now he's saying that's not the best change. No, I, all I'm saying is he made the best change with what he has. No, that's, yes, not, that's not the case, bro. There was be, there's there's better lineups you can start. There's better lineups you can start, Lamont. I mean, I agree. I would start Christian Wood. That would be something that I would Christian do. Wood needs to start, and Rui probably needs to start in place of either I mean, Cam but, Reddish but, or Vando. But, but, but. So he was fine with benching Cam Reddish, as we just said. But earlier, than he, he just sat here and said that we should have gave that lineup more time because it's unfair to which call it it's unfair for them to get this type of um criticism towards them. I also want to say in that 32 game sample size I was referring to, there was never a moment where we started. Uh, D'Lo and Reeves at the same time in 32 game sample size, only one of the guards was starting and we were still a 500 ball club. And this video here, because I, I, I do have to go, but this video here is at the end of December. This is at the end of December. Uh, we was coming to this conclusion. So again, he's acknowledging that we need more offense and to be fair to him, his solution is, um, Christian Wood. That that was his solution, but not Max Christie. That was not his solution. Max Christie was available. It wasn't Max Christie. That was not his solution. His solution was Christian Wood, and we needed more offense. Not how terribly bad we were defensively, because even though yes, we looked better defensively, we were so bad offensively that it didn't really matter. And then he sat here and said that we should start Rui, even though he was just criticizing Rui and um Reeves. He was just doing that. So. Oh damn! The internet's a motherfucker, man. No, and I, man. I was like, bro, I, I I vividly remember him complaining about how we had too much defense and not enough offense, not too long ago. And to be fair to him, he was very consistent about putting Reeves on the bench. But no, you you were not talking about how we need we should we should have stuck with Cam Reddish. You literally just sat there and said that we should have benched Cam Reddish on December twenty seventh. You said that, so no. It's easy. It's easy for some of you all to come up here and give takes, and nobody don't care about them because mm. nobody don't care about you. <laughs> it's easy for you all to do that, but the truth of the matter is, a lot of times y'all be contradicting yourself. That's all I got to say. Oh, uh, look. Yeah, that was. Yeah, he definitely. You don't do that. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. He literally, he literally said, did he not just say we should have kept playing Cam Reddish? Did he not just say that earlier? Yeah, he just did. Well, and apparently, Dobby had right. agreed. You're right. Dobby had right, agreed bro. with the locker room. Oh, he yeah, kept playing Cam Reddish the whole yeah, season. Yeah, he kept he kept playing. Hey, lock and roll. Go ahead, go ahead, man. No, no, <laughs> right, I'm just I'm saying sorry. He, he kept playing Cam until literally he could not play Cam anymore. Yeah, until to, to his ankles went out. Yeah, he, he played literally. he he played his ankles out. He, he kept playing so until the wheels fall off. That's literally what he did. And no, it didn't work. And in the moment, you also didn't believe that it, it didn't work either. So all right, whenever whenever he comes around. 
It is <laughs> it is uh Laker Woes. Hold on, I'm gonna write this down. What's the time step again? L- Laker Woes revealed, and then mm-hmm. this is the Zach Levine trade unlikely. This is probably around the time we all talking about trading for Zach Levine, and that didn't pan out either. And uh, the, <laughs> the minute mark okay, is, what's the time step on the thing? It is one hour and like 20 minutes or one hour and 21 minutes around that point. Oh right. man, we, and he was talking about how these y'all shouldn't start. We shouldn't start Vando. We should we should take Cam off for Rui because we don't have enough offense. It's too defensive slanted. We didn't have enough floor space because of uh, we was running a lineup with Prince, Vando, and Cam. That's let me let me ask you this, uh, Lockwood.